Hello, my name is Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray and Golden Ray of the Golden Sun Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Today is De uh, December 2nd, actually, so welcome to December. We got quite a few things to talk about, and that was a November to, oh my goodness, November to dismember, I think. November to remember, or maybe not remember, or maybe to remember the things from your childhood that really need to go. Um, it was a lot of things for a lot of people. We had the 1111 Lovers Gate. We had pretty much a month of intensity for a lot of people. Now, a lot of people did get together with their twin flame, and there were people that have been together and they still had bumps in the road, and you're getting better at everything. You are learning very well how to hold the elevated state of your bubble of love, your fifth dimensional love, or the state of your fifth dimensional union right here, right at this level of living. We're in the fourth dimensional plane of existence of planet Earth. And that does take, uh, it takes quite a bit, actually. And it's not for the faint of heart. And today what I want to talk to you about is cracking open the heart for the hundredth time. And some of you are like, my goodness, Patricia, when does this end? When does th this cycling end? Well, for some people, it is, uh, it's been a process of several cycles. And it depends on several things. It depends on what are your agreements with your beloved. It depends on how deep your soul damage was. There's people here without the extent of soul damage. And there are some Illumin Blu-ray Twin Flames that have some very, very deep soul damage. And the process for them has been with their spirit being um, cocooned, brought back in and also brought up to a level and, and gradually ascended. So what is going on with this these days and why the intensity? Well, a lot of you are finishing being human and you're really stepping into your sovereignty. You're getting ready to uh, next year become galactic citizens again. I know what you're saying. Pie in the sky, Patricia. It's not. Because a lot of us are not from here, and a lot of you are aware of your points of origin or even several points of origin. Some of you have really been wishing to exit and get back to the place from whence you came, and you're like, why can't I just get out of here? Why can't I just do it? Well, here's a piece of news for you. Astral traveling as you once known it, it's off the table. Also, some of the other things, like reversals of portals or finding portals. The key out of here is with your true beloved. So whether you are a twin flame or a divine counterpart or some other type of angelic. And twin flames do uh, put themselves back together. The way that we put our souls back together is we resurrect each other. We resurrect our light bodies by merging with each other. That's how we do it. Divine counterparts do it very similarly, although not exactly. And other beings are, some of them are in their oneness. A couple of the common things that are here is that uh, we are containing a lot of the soul damage here. So there, there are people that have been born here just strictly to heal their soul damage and get better and receive the new body blueprints and the new templates. And you might say, well, what are those? That is actually a brand new light body. And that is your body for traveling around throughout the galaxy and throughout the universe. That means that when you're a fifth dimensional ascended being, you can go from fifth dimensional Earth to fifth dimensional Pleiades to fifth dimensional Andromeda to fifth dimensional um, Sirius, wherever you want to go. And there are already people, I personally have had three couples report to me that they have been having out-of-body experiences when they've made love. Now it's been a sort of out and back in. And I myself have had the out-of-body experience. 
And a couple of the things I'm going to talk about is that the reason your heart is cracking open, this is the call right down to the most deepest level of your heart. Everything's cracking off of you to get to the very, very core essence of your heart and your heart with your true beloved. And yeah, there's things that need to crack off of you. There's soulmates that need to get out of your heart still. There are organizations. It can be um it could be a religious organization, it can be a religion, it can be church, it can be um a career that you thought you gave your heart and soul to and that you thought it loved you back, only to find that the rug's been pulled out and everything you're touching is turning to dust and you're saying but why? Because everything that you've given your heart and soul to to create, it's being pulled out and unplugged. Now, there's another thing to know, and that is that the mechanism that has enabled being separate, and that means uh, keeping your soul separated, keeping yourself separate from your beloved, or your beloved deciding that, well, they just don't need you in this lifetime and they'd rather live separately. That's all off the table as well. That's not a possibility anymore. Those mechanisms, the personal will, which was connected to the old solar plexus, every organ along your rib cage where you were connected to the old earth or to this other place, that's all gone. The sacred sexual areas that have been connected in the old, and for some people these have been uh, not so healthy as connections. They've been sexual addictions. Uh, such as visuals or pornography or participation in something. They have uh, sometimes been um, foods, bad habits, bad behaviors. And um, the major blocks have gone. And like I say, we have moved everything out of the level of the personal will. And it is being reconnected to the will of your soul, to the higher will. And that's the divine will. It's not an angry God that's somewhere saying, thou shalt do what I say. That is your own personal will to become whole again, to be in love again, but to really be in love. And not in this quarantine situation we have on earth, where we're trying to contain the psyche damage or the mental emotional damage. And all of that's going to be changing because going into 2015, it's going to be even more so. So the parts of you that are being prepared right now are very important. They are your central nervous system, the world systems, things like education, health care, voting, governments, the military, all kinds of world systems going through a lot of upheaval and change. And, you know, pay attention to what your soul tells you about some of those things. Like, for example, um, hypocrisies, you know, we're very, very highly outraged that people are being beheaded in a part of the world. And yet, even in my country, we have still executed people. And at what point do you draw the line along this spectrum? You know, what's a, what's a proper murder and what isn't? What's a good war? What's bad war? What, you know, when are we going to get out of those levels? Well, it's already happening. And your central nervous system is being cleaned and cleared out of it. The world systems, your lymph system, your skin. Many people are going through angry outbursts, having um, eruptions, some kind of skin eruptions like uh, pimples or acne or eczema or uh, some other like, you know, pustules or something. Some of this is very physical. And yeah, if you have a good friend that you can say, hey, could you take a look at this thing I have? You're a blessed person because that person will be able to help you at least put some cream on it. But the main thing is, is that you're getting these angers and these old things out of your cells and out and released. And it will be your eyes. Okay, it will be your eyes. Also, the internet and communications, things like phone, social media. You might find that your twin is doing weird stuff like blocking you or dumping you or getting off there completely. And there's a reason for that. You're not supposed to live in the etheric. You're not supposed to live in the internet looking at your twin or communicating. This is a physical ascension. This is a physical merging. 
Um, so it is the knowing of your heart versus your thinking. And it's important that you stick to what you know. Now, um, another really huge thing that's happening right now for a lot of people, that is the kidney and adrenal glands. A lot of people, because of the mental and emotional stress that you're going through, a lot of people have adrenal fatigue. They have, uh, they have like reactions that are off the charts. It is not the intention of your divinity to keep you in a state of instability. It is the intention of, of your own divinity to become sovereign, to master your energies, to master your emotions, to get your light body ready from the inside out so that the outside stimulus, the things that happen, the things that will crack open your heart, people being mean to you, um, people having outrage or people having an argument with you or your own twin. You and your twin have to not only learn to get along, you have to learn how not to let this stuff become a deal breaker. You have to learn how to get up and out of it, how to not let the family affect you because you'll let the family in and you'll push your twin out. You'll let that family stuff get to you and it could be family kids, it can be job bosses, uh, bills. Did you ever get a bill from the IRS? Watch and see what that does to your adrenaline. Woo! -hoo. Did you ever get an unexpected bill? Oh my God. And a lot of people, they get that tension and they just, maybe they want to have sex. Maybe they want to have unhealthy things. They want to have a drink or they want to smoke something or they want to um, take some kind of drug or even a prescription medication. And a lot of that stuff, uh, people will begin weaning themselves away from it. And it's going to happen as a very natural from the inside out occurrence. But along with it goes the mental and emotional stress. And a lot of this is people's old defense mechanisms. And it'll be things like, um, you go, you know, you have some contact with your twin and they're just like, find someone else. You know, I, I'm no good. It's not for this lifetime. But what are they really saying? They're saying, I'm no good. I'm ashamed. I'm unworthy. I have no self-esteem. Look at all these things I've done. Look at what a loser I am. And it's knowing what you know. It's knowing them how they truly are. It's also knowing that these are just things. This is baloney. This is BS. This is the stuff that can get out of your union and that people can take action on. How many people do you know that are very slow to take uh, action and they're in denial that they have diabetes or hypoglycemia and do something to control their diet? How many people do you know that actually will resist getting a mammogram because it hurts only to find that they could have nipped something in the bud? And it is learning as an angelic how to catch these things, how to be so in tune with your body that you're doing this on a daily basis because your body is housing who you are. Your body is housing the high intelligence that you're drawing in, not just your brain. Because for most of your you, you're being driven by the brain stem at this point that will run your autonomous nervous system and all of your body's uh, mechanisms so that your body doesn't die here but your physical body is the survival vehicle at this level so that you can ascend up and out of here so that you have some protection but beyond this the protection for you is the love of your union it is not, you know, psychic defense. It's not casting spells. It's not putting curses. Or you're going to find that you've actually outgrown a lot of these things and that they just simply won't work for you. You know, the things that, that maybe you found fun at some point, like incense or candles. And for some of you, it's still great. And for some of you, you're like, that didn't do a darn thing. I actually got more done by, um, you know, changing the sheets or something. And that is where we are getting back to. We are getting back to where things are much more natural, organic. Your true power, the power of l your love, is what gets things done, helps you manifest, 
manifests your abundance helps you create also helps you get rid of and destroy now many of you have healed some of you have just started on your healing some of you just starting on your awakening and I've noticed something that's happened in the past two years there's a lot more people waking up and there are people going through a really intense crash course spiritual emergence or what I call a spiritual emergency and not everyone dials 911 not everyone knows what to do with it not everyone can identify a Kundalini rush not everyone can identify why some of their body systems start going haywire not everyone can say like why all of a sudden they develop some disease or fungus or something on their body and yeah the gloves are off some of the ugly parts of this are really gonna come up and what do you do about it because the breakdown of the human as you once lived it it's already occurring this is already in process you're not intended to go out in the universe with your old mental emotional body intact and your damaged psyche and then show up like in you know I don't know the Pallades and go what are you looking at what are you looking at hmm who are you looking at oh oh you weren't looking at me you were looking at that palm tree over there oh gee I'm sorry you're not intended to show up and you know do do these things you're here to be new there are people here that uh, fell through experienced uh, dimensional tear and fell through at Atlantis they're getting healed and brought up to speed there are people that were uh, first responders who observed and did come to rescue and help there's other people that are incarnating and being born here over the next couple years and watch and see a shift in the children that are born because some of these children guess what they're gonna be the children of true love's connection they will be children that have been co-created by both parents and the child and that is coming through people's readings the child is coming forward and even telling me the name that they want they want certain environments they want certain school systems their spirit their journey they want to accomplish certain things while they're here and they want to come through certain people they they're not here to finish their karma like some of us and let's face it there's still people out there spawning like salmon and they are you know still not understanding that the genetics um, the genetic lineage that that child or that entity has chosen to come through that they may be uh, in the position of either helping that child to finish their karma and that child may act out they may need additional help they may have uh, illness or disease or deformities or you know some other form allergies all kinds of stuff respiratory issues and will those parents have the means for it not everyone does and so there's this massive shifting around occurring over the next couple years where there will be mechanisms in place there will be the proper world systems again it's a process you know I can't make any guarantees I just know that if everyone does their part and focuses on the love and you focus on that person you know we're gonna get somewhere really quickly with this now I want to show you you know I got this guy here and you know the the front of his heart's cracking open and he's like well you know I really want to be in love but he hasn't let go of his wife he hasn't let go of this he he hasn't stopped drinking he hasn't go on, stopped going out with the buddies and watching football and you know the things that interest him he's getting his messages but he's like you know watching YouTube's about conspiracy theories and UFOs and you know other stuff because this is what's reconnecting with him this is what he's remembering and his twin flame might be saying you know what gives why isn't he getting it he is getting it he's getting it he's here he's here to be the love but it's a process and so what is required is balance patience discernment and it requires people to pause now other people I have another figure here and she's been having some issues with the back of her heart she feels a lot of pain over here 
She's also um, noticed that she doesn't feel okay after she eats. There, she's experiencing a lot of uh, acceleration, uh, heart palpitations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Her kidneys, all of her connections are moving from here to here, and so you know she too is having a crisis. And the crisis is not intended to ridicule her or or make her uncomfortable forever or not have her be in love. She needs some assistance, and we are all getting assistance from the universe. But first and foremost, you have to assist your own beloved. Now, I'm going to bring up something that just came out this week. And a lot of you have actually vocalized and you've said when is my twin going to get it like when are they going to say something when are we g I just heard this on our holiday I had a friend of the family and he was actually saying you know I read oracles and healers and I can't wait for this ascension to start and I said it's already been in the works it's already been start it's been a part of our plan yeah but there's all these promises about things that are happening and I know a lot of people say the same thing. You're all a part of it. It's a continual process. This is not a one-time event. The planet would implode if we try to do it that way. There, there are people who are going first, and they're opening the door, and then there's more people, and they're opening the door, and more people, and they're opening the door. And that's how we're doing this. We are all continually elevating. And... You know, there are people who are able to reach and hold their union. There, it is not easy to hold fifth dimensional twin flame love here at this level. And in fact, I will go so far as to say that it's very rare. And there are not a lot of true twin flames on the planet. There is approximately 20% of the world population that are true twins. Okay? 20% that amounts to about I think it's about somewhere between 5 to 15 million people worldwide. It's not 7 billion. Uh if we have an estimate of 7 billion people incarnate the, a twin flame love is very powerful. It is source love, but not everyone here is a twin flame. Out of this, the number of people actually at this point ready to uh, be in their full universal soul merge, their full sacred sexual merge, is about 1.1 1, 1, oh, 1. 1 million. That's it. That's that's it. That's a pretty low number, but that's pretty powerful. And that means the love is powerful. It's not, you know, like, you know, we're not here to blow the place up. We're here to light it up. We're here to light it up with our love. And if you've ever known uh, an illumined twin flame couple, you know you could feel their vibe. You just know it. Now, there's a thing I want to show you. And people have said, well, when is this going to happen? When is it? Well, the words twin flame finally hit the mainstream. And, you know, maybe I'm just catching this. Maybe others have caught it. Maybe other people have already uh, seen the words out in public. But there was an article, and this is what it said. Ryan Gosling gets a restraining order on a stalker who on who believes that they are twin souls okay so there it is twin souls twin flames now i don't even know if ryan gosling himself is a twin flame i mean i actually do have a very good gift and i'm able to tune into people and i would put myself on the line to say that I don't believe that he is with his twin flame. However, I do believe she's a close soulmate and that they're doing their, their things together. Now, here is where the differences are going to be because there are many people with 
a celebrity, it can be a celebrity, it can be a famous person, it can be an infamous person, it can be a politician, it can be a musician or someone who has a following, a preacher. Um, there's all kinds of stuff associated with this. And when you start talking about fame and money and uh, glam, this is not glamorous, people. This is a false glamour. And so what do you do with this? What do you do with it? Because there are people that will scam you. There are people that in the social media will lure you to a place. I mean, I heard of a story actually told to um, by the father of a friend of mine who actually was very concerned because he heard a story that a woman got lured to a hotel and was raped by someone posing as the celebrity because of her beliefs. Okay, but because of the mental beliefs. Now, this is where for Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flames, and they have known, believe it or not, a lot of times the opposite occurs for those people. They don't want it. They don't want a famous person. They don't want any of it to disturb their life. They know that they love that person. They've tried to get that person out. You can't. The connection is there. The connection grows back even stronger because what gets out is everything that leaves your union. And for Illumined uh, Blu-ray Twin Flames particularly, our experiences are so deeply intimate that there are times where a person who has a Blu-ray will actually find themselves inside looking out of their twin's eyes. And only this is possible if you are the true twin. If you are someone who is having uh, a mental connection with a soulmate, and you're doing mental rationalization or even analysis, and you're saying, well, their hair color looks like it, and their eyes are like that, and well, you know, uh, my heart kind of lights up when they, it, no. Those are not the ways that you're a twin flame with that person. More than likely, you're from the same soul group. And this is where it's really going to get tricky here. And this is where a lot of the BS is going to start hitting the fan and people have to stick to what they know. And in many ways, what are you relying upon? If you are, if you are a twin flame and you are a true twin or you are a divine counterpart and you know that that person because your heart has shown you, your dreams have shown you, and you don't know how. You just don't know how is this going to come about. And that's okay. You may not know how it's going to come about. But it's important to really know that you have a soul connection with that person. And I'll go a step further here. When I've read for people, and when I first started doing this work, and I did know that many of the uh, Blu-ray Twin Flames are somehow in the public eye. Not all of them, but there's a lot. And I started seeing who they were in other lifetimes. And some of them have really had some bad lives. Some of them have been bad. Some of them have really needed to be lightened up. And when I asked my guidance about it, the answer I got was they've been put in the limelight. And yeah, it's not all glamorous. They still go to the washroom. They still get sick. They still have troubles. They still have families. Some of them might have gotten beaten by their parents or alcoholic parents or something. All of those truths are coming out. Some of them have been drugged or had illnesses or cancer. None of us is immune. And don't believe for one moment that each person here doesn't have some immortal soul and isn't a part of the all that is because they are. So what usually happens with people that do have uh, a true twin flame connection, the, the entire body completely lights up. I mean, it's, it's, it's so beyond what anyone would even be able to fathom at this level unless you've actually experienced it. That's why family and friends will frequently be highly concerned because they haven't experienced it and they just don't know and, and, and yet they love you and they're concerned for you. They don't want to see you in pain. They don't want to see you lonely. They don't want to see you sick. 
and and yet they don't know. So it becomes you because we are never ever allowing what occurred in any of these invasions to happen. And a lot of you know the energy of invasion. I mean, you know it when someone comes to your house or if you work in an office and someone comes into your cubicle and you're like, oh gosh, oh my gosh, there's that person and they're just invading my space. You know it. We're not, we're not allowing that anymore. That is no longer going to be allowed. This is where everything stops here, right here. So it becomes you balance, finding your balance, and if that means getting some additional assistance, then you do it. Um, patience. You really, yeah, this is really a test of patience. And I know for a lot of you, your soulmates have already tested you and your twin flame is even testing you even more. But your discernment, and it will require you to pause. What is the thing that probably this person that he needed to get the restraining order against, and I'm not going to say if she is or she isn't. However, a couple of the things she may not have done was it was not balanced. It was mentally imbalanced. There was also um, not a pause there, okay? There was not a pause, and for many people who are these uh, celebrities twin flame or counterpart or politician or musician or singer actor um, whatever it might be whatever person who might have a following of other people and you know it because all of those people are infringing on your union and you can feel it you can feel it like birds hanging on a wire and the wire goes Mwah! and you know, everything's messing with your connection. And for some of you, yeah, I know some pretty bad stories. There are people who've been scammed out of money. There have been people that, against all reason, they are somehow convinced that that person belongs to them. And there are people, I, I do feel this, that um, they're prepared to take matters into their own hands as driven by their head and not by their heart. And that is the key difference. It is taking a step back, even if it's your own twin telling you right to your face and saying, not for this lifetime, I'm sorry. And you say, okay, I'm going to go home, I'm going to breathe, because the universe will show me. And what you will find is that because the old mechanism of being enabling you to be separate from each other, you're going to find the shoes on the other foot, and that person may have trouble breathing, may have trouble eating and digesting, while you are the one that starts having a fine and dandy time. And it is important to go forward and live your life. Go forward boldly into your new. And yeah, if, you're, if your soul is prompting you to start something or do something and you know, it doesn't mean that you don't expect your twin. It means that you just get on with continuing to live because you can. You are alive. You don't go back to sleep. You don't send the message to your beloved that you're a corpse laying somewhere and that maybe you're not here and it's not for this lifetime. You don't want to send a mixed signal to your true beloved, okay? And yeah, this, this gentleman you know, for right or for wrong, he's perfectly within his rights to protect his child because people that may not be properly balanced, and this is a process. There are people with really good hearts that have voices talking to them and parts of the ego, fragments, thought fragments, ego. Every time we go through these things. Now, what happened in November? We went through this intensity, and there's it stirs things up. There's all kinds of stuff from people. And you wind up with this like energetic pollution that some of us are still traveling through. And it affects people. It affects their thought process. At the very least, there has been a lot of mental confusion. And a lot of you know that. I mean, I know Sooner got done with some readings and people were calling me three days later to the extent that 
I guess the universe took over, and I actually wound up uh, catching a fever of my own, and I just, I just had to um, take time for myself. And this happens. So when I do uh, my readings, this is where the most amazing stuff has been coming through because we do get confirmations on is it a false twin? Because if it is a false twin, I'm not going to string you along. There's no reason for it. I do not have these gifts that I have if I'm not in a state of integrity. But furthermore, I have already set up all of my connections. I spent a couple years doing that. And it's for the uni me and the universe, it's been like green light, red light, green light, red light. You know, stop and go while I get everything ready for this time. For some of you people, you've been feeling like you're on hold. Well, guess what? You're going to be called forward and you're going to jump forward and you're going to accelerate because exactly what you're good at, exactly what you're bringing to the table, whether it's just being with your beloved and making love or traveling and making love or teaching or healing, it's going to be on. So get ready. Do not be prepared to let go. Hang on and maybe you're going to go like this and, you know, drag someone along with you. So be it. So be it. Know what your heart knows is telling you the truth. Know the truth of your heart. That's the key. That is the only key. And get good at it because those mixed signals will come in front of you and the universe will be saying, you want more of this? You want more of that? You, you want to go with that soulmate? You know, do not think that being with a soulmate is like the grass is greener on the other side. What am I telling you about these awakenings? Everyone's going to start up. And if you want to help them with their karma, by all means, try that again and see how that works for you. You may be, you may be making other decisions. So um, I wish you well, as always. My videos are always with the intent for your highest and best well-being. And, you know, I, uh, I like to think that we're going to head into a December that's really going to be a lovely December for a lot of people. There will still be waves of people waking up. Be kind. Be gentle. Be patient. Be balanced. Okay, some of them may be your family and friends. Some of them may express it in different ways. And yeah, um, even the counterparts that you have thought, it's going to be a time of wishes and miracles come true. So keep expecting. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, take good care of yourself. Bye.